Hey everybody, this is Jorik. Welcome back to Portugal and Beyond. I hope you're doing well today. This topic is about renewing your residence permit. I'm going to show you where to go to do it, some of the steps involved. I'm going to put in the description box for this video several links that you'll need uh, to go to to be able to get the process going as well as I'll leave some information in a pinned comment as well. This video is thank you, thankful to a couple of subscribers who are here in Portugal and are getting ready. They're about six months away from their residence permit uh, needing to be renewed. And they were just wondering, where do they go? What type of process does Portugal have? They haven't renewed before, so it's something new. And both my wife and I have renewed our residence permits, so we can give you some advice and I'm going to show you some of the places that you need to go to uh, to get the ball started. Um, so first things first, usually within 90 days to 30 days is when you may get a notification, you might get a letter, you might get an email saying, hey, it's time to start uh, getting your uh, permit uh, renewed, getting all the paperwork, getting anything that you need along the way to be able to do this. Now, I will tell you what's good is throughout this pandemic, I'll say a silver lining. Back in the day, Portugal did not have an online renewal process that helped expedite. Uh, you had to always have a SEF appointment had to go in, sometimes show the same documents that you had to to get your initial residence permit all over again. Thankfully, Portugal's made the process a little bit easier for you. Uh, I'll say a little bit. Um, so they have allowed some of the information to be submitted uh, online, so it's more of an automatic renewal. You may still need to have a CEF appointment, but I'll give you our scenario. So uh, our permit uh, renewed during the pandemic. Uh, we received notification 90 days before that, hey, uh, you're, you're gonna be in the queue here. Your permit is gonna expire. Here's the information that we need. And I will point out this, whether you're on, uh, well, regardless of what type of visa you're on, for the most part, they need the same pieces of paper uh, from you. Uh, your photographs, are they up to date? Uh, oftentimes they'll ask for new photographs just so they have the most recent pictures of you to use. Has anything changed in your background, uh, your address, your work specifically? I know many of you are here on a D7 retirement, so that doesn't apply, but a number of you are still working to some degree. And so depending on what type of work visa you're on, has that work changed? Are you still with the same company? Uh, if you are, you still need to have that contract to show that you have continual employment. If you are on a D7, you do need to make sure that you're still showing that you have income in a bank account that's going to keep you uh, liquid, for lack of a better term, uh, along uh, so that when they renew the permit, they know that you're probably not going any place and you have enough money to pay bills, et cetera, et cetera. So, but again, what's required and what's needed is very much the same regardless of your situation here in Portugal. I'm going to also in the description uh, link a video from SEF, which I think is a really good video uh, that shows you step-by-step -step on the website because one of the things I can't do without kind of blurring out all my information is you do have to log in, create an account on SAF, log into your account. Since we already had one from our initial permit, all we had to do is go through. There was really nothing to change. We had all of the information uh, from 2019 was still valid. Our address, a bank account, um, even our photos, things like that were all still valid, although I did submit some new photos of myself with uh, even less hair and probably fatter cheeks. That information was submitted online to CEF. Uh, we still had appointments uh, at the CEF office here in Lisbon 
Now, those appointments where instead of being, let's say, an hour or two long from our initial uh, residence permit uh, interview, they were more like 15 minutes. It was just to collate and make sure that all the information was correct. Did we have any changes that we needed to make from our original card? Uh, it is uh, important to make sure whether you're getting your initial residence permit or renewing your name, it's spelled right and it matches your passport or other national identification, date of birth, things of that nature. Uh, I know sometimes when you're looking at this stuff, you can gloss over it, but uh, I can tell you that there are subscribers who have had issues at the border coming or going where their national ID card, which is a residence card, didn't match their passport. Maybe some of the spelling was different and that they're cause some extra problems. So make sure when you're getting your renewal that it's still, and it's not an automatic process. So hands and eyes still need to touch your stuff. So your renewal permit, make sure that everything is correct on it. The, the spelling, your date of birth, your, your spelling of your name, everything is in order so that you don't have any issues after the fact. Now, there are some people that have been able to submit their data through the CEPH website and have been issued a card without a CEPH appointment. That's rare if you have absolutely nothing that has changed. Uh, depending on the situation, they may issue a renewal without having to have a CEPH appointment. But generally speaking, you can submit the stuff online, which saves you the hassle of having to do it at the CEPH office but you still have to book an appointment along the way. Now, lastly, Ceph is changing in May, possibly June. I did a video on this in December. I think more content creators for Portugal are gonna start posting videos about this as we get more information. But Ceph as an agency is gonna go bye-bye and it's going to be a new agency many new officers that need to be retrained or trained on how to do immigration. So we really have no idea how the new process is going to be. So this video I'm making is February of 2022. Come May or June with a new agency in place, I might need to do a new video or I might do a short one that says, hey, it's a new name, but everything's the same or I might have to do a new video going, okay, whether you're new to Portugal or you're renewing, here's the new agency name, here's the new agency website, and they may have a different process altogether on how to do this. But for the time being, it's still Seth. You've got the information in the description box. You've got a long pinned comment now with all of the different um, places to go that you can uh, research what you need to do to submit and be able to get your renewed residence permit uh, easy uh, without having to go through long lines at SAF and without having to uh, be too stressed out about it. So that's it. I hope this answered some questions. If not, the video that uh, link that I put in the description should, as well as some of the links on the how to's and frequently asked questions with renewing your permit. Um, as always, if you've had an easy process or a hard process with getting your permit renewed, please comment below so that other people that see this video can see how easy or how hard it is based upon the situation, type of visa, where you live, uh, changes that needed to be made, etc. So again, have yourself a great day. As always, take care and thanks so much for watching. Hey, thanks so much for watching the full video. If you get a chance, and if you're interested in reading some crazy workplace stories, please check out my two books, Magnet of Madness, Volume 1 and Volume 2, both available on Amazon in ebook or softcover. If you want to make fun of me, there's plenty of stories where you can do that. If you want to make yourself feel better about the job that you're in, It'll make you feel better too. But uh, crazy stuff that happened over 30 years, you won't believe it until you read it. So thank you so much for watching. And if you get a chance, pick up a copy of one of these on Amazon. Thank you so much.